Now we're doing another fantastic dish. This is Jason, he's from Sit Out Restaurant and he's a semi-finalist in the Young uh, Chef of the Year for San Pellegrino. Yeah. That's awesome. And we're going to be cooking his dish, his entry dish for this competition. So Jason, what are we going to cook today? So today, um, this is one of my competition dish, which will go to the semi-final. It's about yin and yang. So yin and yang is about a, it's Asian culture that about harmony, balance, energy. So I just tried to uh, create a dish based on the means, which is I'm going to make a scallop sheets and wow. roast this, uh, roast the puzon and a kimchi and a, a chicken consomme. So bringing to the nice flavor, the harmony. So Fantastic. hopefully it will be a. Uh, well, that's great because you got the chicken and you got like surf and turf going on, and because you're Korean as well, so you've brought the kimchi in there as well. So yes. it's going to be absolutely fantastic. We're going to show you how to cook this dish a bit later and how to plate it. So I think it's uh, it's going to be very very interesting. So stay tuned. Right now we are joined by Sadat sous chef Jason Kim in the cafe kitchen. Welcome. It nice is so to good you. to have you here. To meet you. I heard you describing what you're going to do with Mark before. Sounds delicious. Congratulations because you, you are a semi finalist in the prestigious S Pellegrino Young Chef awards for 2018 so they're quite prestigious well done thank you very much okay so uh what are we making again just remind everybody so basically i'm making a dish called yin and yang a um balance between a uh, chicken which is called we call pulsa mm -hmm. and a kimchi and some we call it denjang it's a uh, korean miso Oh, right. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, that and, makes um, sense. Yep. So this is, a, this is a kimchi, isn't it? Yes. So these are like baby daikons, you were saying? Like yeah, that's Korean. also from Korean uh, mm -hmm. breed. It's a small uh, baby daikons. Okay. But it does got really great uh, flavour. Uh, very spicy, but it's not spicy to, uh, not too spicy to kick the whole dish, but nice balance. But nice give it, and that's, yes. that's why your dish is called yin and yang. It's yes. all about the balance, isn't uh, it? Yeah, that's the, the oppositions. That's the so that's the black and the white. The black and the white. Yes. So, so this is the scallop pot. Okay, wow. <laughs> wow, okay, cool. Well, we've got a lot to get going, so should we just crack into it? Absolutely. Okay, All right, so, we, we so we've got some leeks now, so you're going you're gonna to cut the leeks and we're just going to pan fry them now, aren't we? Yes, so I'm just going to cut it into a small... A small slice. Slice. Awesome. Mike's really good at um, oh, really? You know, cooking and uh, watching things on the stove, yeah, so well, there's no yeah. pressure. <laughs> no so pressure, you need a bit right. of oil in the um, pan? Yes, in the pan, small pan, or just a bit of oil. How long am I going to cook these for? This one just give you a nice caramelization on okay, the surface, cool. okay. so basically. Well, you're putting them in yeah. hand by hand, so you want that end up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then okay, cool on cool. the other side, not not like around the side, top yes. and top and tail. Yes. No, no, it's very. I know it's very <laughs> impolite to ask these questions. <laughs> nice. No, but how old are you? Me? Yeah. I just turned into thirty. So just, you are so young, and look at you up I for think this prestigious all the award. Does look a bit young, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it, but yeah. this is this is like uh, you can't enter next year, can you? Cause yes. It's, it's the cutoff, so this is your last year to do it. Yes. Oh, this is my nice. first time and the last time. Are you surprised you're a finalist, or are you pleased? Um. <laughs> Surprised. Ah, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so we've got these. We're caramelising these. What else do we need to do? Right, so we're gonna, it's going to prep the poussin now. Yes. So you're going to take the legs off, and then basically we're going to roast the uh, breast on the crown. So that's roasting it on the bone, so it'll keep nice and um, tender through the oven. So we're saying that it takes about, we're going to cook it at a low temperature, aren't we? Yes. Like 120 degrees 120 for about degree 15, for 15 minutes. minutes. And then we get a beautiful, moist, uh, succulent breast. For the dish and then in the dish what you're going to use the the legs for legs is going to make i'm going to make a chicken consomme so basically there'll be no wastage every single ingredient every bit of uh, wastage will be turns into food so that's the whole purpose about this so there's no wastage no, using every no part wastage. of the uh, poussin which is great and then that's going to give you some um well it's a consomme oh yes how are they yeah no yeah. Should, do i need to turn these no yeah, they should be fine you can just should be fine like that okay cool yes. but do you want me to turn them all over yeah yes, oh, yeah please. cool Oh, nice. With your fingers. <laughs> oh, geez, that's hot too. And how long have you been at Sadat for? Um, I used to work with Chef Sarat for a long time, about eight years. Right. Um, I recently got back to restaurant, but this year. All right, you were so good. She's like, please come back. No, I mean, <laughs> I just recently got back to country as well. Oh, okay, cool. Because you went, went back to Korea, didn't you? Yes, I yeah. went to Korea for doing some research, and plus I need to do my military. For oh, military right. service. Yes. Oh, Jesus, don't, uh, don't mess the leaks up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's right. And no, then, that's, that's going good. So you're going to start, so we're going to seal the uh, poussin off first, aren't we? Yes, so, so I'm going to season it. So give it a nice season and then into a pan, so nice golden. Um, well, you're going to start getting the skin nice and golden, aren't you? Yes. And then we'll pop it in the oven. Yes. And what got you started in cooking, Jason? 
Excuse me. What what got you started? In um, it it's always been my dream job. Okay, nice. I like to cook and I like to share the experience with everyone. Right. Yeah, I, I like sharing food. Right. So what she right. shows like. Yeah. Well, good. There you go. So once the pan is nice and hot, I'll just probably pop into it. Yeah. So basically, at high heat, I'm just gonna crisp it up the skin. Yep. And then once I crisp it up the skin all, all the way through, and I'll pop it into an oven for 50 minutes in a low temperature. Okay. So it'll give a nice moist, moist uh, chicken breast. Okay, and this is the dish that got you through to the semi-finals? Yes. Is this the one, you, do you have to do this dish again? Yes, I have to do this oh, exactly. Okay. I send a photo of the dish. Yeah. So basically I need to do exactly You need to the same. Now the just want to try the dish. So that's in Melbourne, isn't it? It's in Melbourne. You're heading over about the 9th of... Um, uh, 9th of September, yes. we were talking about before, yeah. Yes. Nice work. And New Zealand does really well in this competition because uh, Jason is one of three different chefs that are part of this. So congratulations to all those other chefs. Brilliant work. Um, I tell you what, you keep going here. We'll sure. come back. We'll come back, eh? Absolutely. We'll leave you to it. Thank you. And Jason will share what magic he needs to do to recreate the signature dish in just a few minutes. Here we are. We are very lucky. We're getting all the secrets on an award-winning dish here. So we are seeing what it takes to become a semi-finalist in one of the most prestigious culinary competitions. The S. Pellegrino Young Chef Awards from our very own contender Jason Kim with a signature dish. Now he is from Siddharth and he is here in the cafe today with tweezers, which no, which means you are getting a very precise meal. <laughs> uh, so what are you doing? You're so, doing your yin and your yang, aren't you? Yes, so basically the turns of that is the uh, scallop, okay. scallop mousse. Flatten Scallop it down mousse, yes. And turns into lasagna sheets. Yeah. So that with the smoke with the pines is to give you a nice aroma mm. and the smokiness. So it kind of describes with the black. Okay, nice. And okay, and, uh, and the, it's the scallop as well. This one is a white scallops, which is try to keep it as clean as possible. Right. So it does represent of the white color. Right. The flavor. And you've cut them out to sort of like backgammon yes. sizes. Yes. So when you turn it over, it looks like an yin and yang. <laughs> shape. Ah, nice. Oh, I so get it now. Awesome. That makes sense. Okay, so the we've got the scallops. The we've got our um, leeks there. So they have turned out all right. We've got a poo sandwich. Yeah, no, it's been roasted. Nice okay, and our poussin It has been we've crisped resting it up it. and then we put it in the oven. So it's just resting now. What do we have to do now? So daikon. now it's a Korean daikon kimchi. So now they are need to turns into slice. So give you if, if you're having too much. Too, too, too spicy? Too, yeah, Ooh, not too spicy. <laughs> and then you're going to serve it with a consomme. So we, we run through the consomme. So it's a blend of different liquids as well. So, we, so we've made a chicken consomme from all the bones of the chicken. Right. And you've made a Granny Smith consomme as well. So that's quite interesting, as we talked about that before. So right, Granny Smith the apple. Yeah, oh, so okay, Granny cool. Smith apples, yep. juiced it, frozen it, and then you've just slowly let it drip through, and then you get this beautiful, clear, fresh liquid. So it gives, you, it gives you a bit of a balance of acidity and a bit of sweetness. So that goes in the consomme as well. And a little bit of the um, kimchi consomme. Uh, the kimchi consomme as well. So you've got this beautiful, like, fresh, meaty, umami, sort of uh, zingy, um, you know, flavoured... Um, <laughs> there's the chef coming out. It's like, rah, rah. Uh, It's really nice. You've got to try it anyway. It's I love it. <laughs> I love it. Too much of it. Okay, cool. Jeez, you're right, so let's, delicate with everything. So let's carve, the, uh, let's carve the pousse on, and then we can um, dress this whole dish. So, so we're going to dress the dish. You've got the consomme. We're going to serve on the side, pause at the table. And what have you got in the squeezy bottle here, Jason? So that is a denjang custard, which is, we call it denjang. But in Japanese term, you guys probably are familiar with, which is miso. Oh, oh yeah, nice okay, cool. Nice, yeah, nice sort of like we squeeze on our sushi. sushi. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> mm, very nice. <laughs> okay, good. So, you know, I'm just thinking, Matt, you know, with dishes like this, they, they look very intricate. precise and yeah, intricate. They are, yeah. So if someone rocks into your restaurant and goes, I'll have six of them, is that like a freak out situation for a chef? What do you uh, do? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we always prepare for it, so... Right. Yeah, so I mean, th things like this in the restaurant will be will be like pre-done. Everything will be there to hand. You'll be roasting the uh, the poussin to order, but you still have to dress everything. Right. So in all these restaurants, you know, it's it's you know, there's a lot of uh, prep and mise en place behind it. But then the the end thing, there's a lot of work in actual dressing these um, in these dishes. That's why they have about 30 staff in these restaurants. Right. Okay, I see. Okay, because like, so I'll be like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> please don't order that. And, and that's <laughs> it. And then for the competition as well, we were just talking about it. He's got to dress six of these. Good so great. five for judges and one for a photo. So there's like, there's a lot of work in that. Right. Let's uh, let's start dressing. Okay. Yep. So I'm just gonna trim it off the poussin. Mm-hmm. Smells good. So beautiful. 
Okay, so it is about just having everything looking precise. And this is what you're going to have to do. How cool would it be to get to the finals in Milan? Would that be would that be the ultimate dream? I'll be I'll be very stoked. Nice. Um, I'd love to go there. Yeah. But You've been we'll there before? No, it's I never been I never been there before, so it'll be really interesting to oh, go. Oh, good. There, well, good luck. Good luck. Okay, let's have a look at this. I'm dying to see what the um, you know when we turn this over and have a look at it. So it'll look very a interesting. Chart leak here, which yes. I'm going to. Okay, might just move that out of the way in case the camera's trying to find a shot of that. <laughs> so, it's quite cool, isn't it, with the little tweezers? Yeah. Yeah, we need to get some of those. Yeah, you do, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So beautiful. So, so, I mean, the key, you know, in all these ingredients, you know, everything's got to be perfect. You know, there's, there's, there's all these different components and, the, you know, the Poussin, needs to be rested, needs to be roasted, you know, at that temperature, just so it's nice and moist, you know? Otherwise, you know, if you overcook one element or you burn one element, then it's just gonna ruin the whole dish. So it's very precise. It is very precise. The S. Pellegrino Young Chef of the Year Awards, very prestigious. So the okay. miso in there. Okay, now I know we wanna see the finished product. So, um, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll come back, we'll see the finished product in just a minute towards the end of the show. Okay, now it's time to see some truly beautiful food. Thanks to one of our Kiwi contenders of the S Pellegrino Young Chef Awards, Co Jason and Mark. How are you going over there? We are finished, we've plated up, it's all ready to go. We've warmed the consomme and I'm just going to serve oh, it on the side. Awesome. All right, bring the dish over, Jason. Oh, it looks amazing. <gasps> We'll pop Yum. that down. It's like a restaurant now, isn't nice. it? It's like a proper restaurant. Oh, whoa! Finish it off with a little bit of consomme. Oh, nice. Oh, gosh, it looks incredible. Around, and there you go. Beautiful dish. What an Best of luck. Yeah. 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 yeah, nice work. Um, and let us know how you get on. Yeah. Okay? We'd love to find out.